are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, black and white sports fans, we got some news that dropped last night. I was laying down in the bed and guys, we found out that the that the MLB All-Star game is going to be in Denver, Colorado this season. And we're going to be talking about that in this video here, folks, because the woke MLB of China removed the All-Star game out of one of the blackest cities in America and put it in one of the widest cities in America and they're getting destroyed for it, folks. But first, make sure you, sure you go over to blackandwhitenetwork.com. Become a member on the website today. Two membership plans, bronze and silver. We actually have special videos over there. There's going to be special live streams over there as well. And if you can't actually join right now, consider just making a one time donation. One, two, three. How many how many other dollars you want? Anything can actually help support Black and White Network. Let's get into this, guys. So. The woke MLB of China, man, is going to have the all star game in Denver, Colorado. And guys, if they thought that people weren't going to do their research on Colorado's voting laws, they are gravely, gravely mistaken. Because now I believe that MLB has a double whammy by moving the all star game from Atlanta to Denver, Colorado. First things first. Let's jump over here to Fox News and we can just see right here from the title. Woke MLB moving all star game from. 51% black Atlanta to 76% white Denver credits. Note the game's relocation is expected to, to deliver a severe blow economic blow to Atlanta, where nearly 30% of businesses are black owned black owned businesses, taking a hit black Atlanta, taking a hit. Who's going to benefit from all of this white Denver, Colorado votes. Let's jump into this article here. Opponents of MLB's decision Monday to move the 2021 All-Star game to Denver because of Georgia's new voting law suggest the move could end up hurting Atlanta's black residents rather than helping them. They note that the move will deal an economic blow to Atlanta, which is 51 percent black and provide a boost to Colorado's capital, which is only 9 percent black, according to U.S. Census figures. The Midsummer Classic was set for July 13th at uh, Trust Park, home of the Atlanta Braves, until MLB decided Friday to change its plans in a decision that was cheered by several large corporations. Of course, because large corporations don't actually care about black people. But I'll move on. On Monday, MLB announced the game will now be played at Coors Field, home of the Colorado Rockies. Now, check this out, guys. According to 2019 U.S. Census data, Atlanta is 51 percent black and 40.9 percent white, while Denver is 9.2 percent black and 76 percent white. So, guys, the All-Star game is going to one of the whitest cities in the U.S. Democrats and voting rights advocates argue that Georgia's new voting law signed by Republican Governor Brian Kemp on March 25th would make it harder for people, particularly those of color, to vote. Republican supporters say the law is needed to restore confidence in Georgia's elections following the contentious 2020 presidential election and Georgia's two Senate U.S. Senate runoff elections in July. Yeah, because for some reason, man, I don't know what it is, but liberals think that black people should not actually have to use identification to vote. That's the whole thing. But here's the problem, man. MLB didn't do their research on Colorado's voting laws, because guess what? According to this. Colorado, it says, what do I need to bring to the polls in Colorado? Colorado voters must provide identification when they register to vote. And when voting in person, if you're voting by mail for the first time, you may be asked to provide a photocopy of your ID when you Return your mail in ballot. So there it is, guys. To register to vote, you need an ID. To actually vote in person, you need an ID. And if you're voting by mail for the first time, you need an ID. So 
the woke MLB has been exposed as hypocrites. And guys, make no mistake about it, man. People are taking note on this that the MLB All-Star Game is going from one of the blackest cities in America to one of the whitest cities in America. Make no mistake about it, guys. Check this out here. Uh, Matt Whitlock says Colorado requires voter ID to vote in person, either driver's license and IRS issued ID card, a valid passport or valid employee card with a photo. MLB better be ready to explain why this is more acceptable than Georgia after that absurd political statement. And uh, Nathan um, Wurzel says replies and says, at least they're moving from a 51 percent black city to a 10 percent black city in the name of justice. This is hilarious. And this person says, why did MLB move the all star game from Atlanta? That's 51 percent black to Denver, that's 9% black. Guys, I've been telling you about MLB. They haven't really been prioritizing even growing baseball in the United States. They're more more focused on Latin America where they can actually get players a whole lot cheaper. Ryan Saavedra, Denver is 76.1% white and only 9.2% black. Atlanta is 40.9% white and 51% percent black. Democrats are really good with their whole racial justice thing. Yes, they are. They are exposed as hypocrites. Complete and utter hypocrites, man. This is going to be a severe black eye to MLB. Severe black eye. You know what? I want to I want to hear what the leftists have to say about this. I really, really do, because they're going to actually have to explain This move, you know, because they were cheering that MLB was leaving um, Atlanta and going out of the state of Georgia. What do they have to say about this news now? Because what 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 is um what is left has been telling you that Whitey's bad, Whitey's bad, but now MLB is going to one of the whitest cities in America. Leftists are out of their mind. They're out of their mind, man. They better keep that same energy that they had. Uh, when um, when Georgia passed that voting bill that you have to have an ID to vote. That's all. It, that's all this comes down to, man. Politics and sports. MLB. This actually may be a worse move, to tell you the truth, than the Marxist NBA at China getting in bed with China now, because MLB is also invested in China as well. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Make sure you guys go over to blackandwhitenetwork.com, sign up and become a member today for the special live streams. We're really, really, really trying to grow our brand on the website. We got a lot of good early support right now. It hasn't even been a weekend. And me and Rhodes are really, really very much appreciative of all the people that have signed up so far. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.